Wow, is planning for summer supposed to be this stressful? My wife and I have been up the last couple of nights trying to figure out where these kids are gonna go every day during summer. So we've been doing a ton of research on different camps and options available. You would think by now we would have this figured out, but it seems like we go through the same process every single year. So I don't know if you guys are at all like us, but uh, we're finally starting to figure out some of the different summer camps in the area. So I thought I'd share with you some of the camps we've been to, some of the things we've liked, some of the options out there, and then definitely stay tuned to the very end because I'm gonna share with you the number one resource that will help all of your summer camp searching and get everything lined up for you and make it as easy as possible. Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Donovan Arnold and I'm a local real estate agent here in Gainesville, Florida. I put out these videos to share with you all things Gainesville. We talk about current events, the best places to live, all the fun things to do. So if you don't want to miss a thing, make sure you start by clicking the subscribe button and also click the little bell so you get notified anytime I put out a new video. So luckily Gainesville does have a lot of options when it comes to summer camps. They're going to range in price and activities and hours and all of that sort of stuff. But one of the most common ones that a lot of people are going to use is going to be through the public school uh, system, then the EDEP program. That's going to range for about $450, but it does go all day long. So it's a good option for a lot of people. And there's also different scholarships and things available. It is not held at every single public school though. So you're gonna to wanna to check on the website, look at the different locations and the availability, because I believe that is also one that will fill up. So next, what is probably the most popular overnight camp in the area is gonna be Camp Crystal. Um, this one is gonna cost about $600 per week, but it does fill up extremely fast. I believe registration actually opens up in October. Um, and there are a lot of parents that are just sitting on the computer that opening day of registration looking to get a spot. So make sure you set a reminder if Camp Crystal and that overnight camp is one that you would consider. So Cade Museum is another popular one. We haven't actually attended this one, but we've heard a ton of good things. They do have a half day and a full day option. And it'll cost you about $350 for the week on the full days but there's definitely tons of activities, tons of engagement, lots of fun stuff to do at the Cade Museum. So that might be another good one to check out for you. So this next one has saved us multiple times. And the main reason it's done that is because you don't really have to register in advance. You can sort of pop in that day. I mean, ideally call them right before, but it's gonna be the DB Racket Club. It's located over off of Millhopper. They've got pool, racquetball, all of that, and tennis, obviously. Um, so it's fun sort of athletic sport camp, but they are ready on very short notice. So look into them. They've got half day. They actually got a morning session, an afternoon session, or you can stay all day. So lots of different options. And on short notice, this could be a really good option to fall back on. So another popular thing in the area is gonna be horseback riding. If your kids are into horses at all, there's a lot of different camps out there. The one that we've actually personally participated in is gonna be Madonna's Equestrian Academy. She does a great job with the kids, keeps them really busy. They really loved it. It was really engaging. So if you're looking at horse camps, that's one I would recommend. I believe in addition to the full week long, she does offer per day. So that may be something of interest. I think for the week long uh, camp, it's roughly about $385. So this next one, a lot of people may not initially think of, but our boys had a ton of fun, and that's gonna be out in Newberry at the Easton Archery Sports Complex. Um, they have a lot of different fun stuff going on. They've got three-day option or five-day options for the entire week when it comes to the summer camps. The other nice thing is they do have an indoor range. So on those rainy summer days, the kids still have a lot of activities and things that they can do inside. So if you haven't already looked up Easton Archery Sports Complex, definitely add that one to your list. So real quick, I wanted to get your feedback. Are there any really cool, fun Gainesville camps that your kids have been to that you would recommend? We're always looking for new options and other things to consider. So down in the comments, let me know if there's any camps that you would highly recommend. We'd love to check them out. Master Builder Camp is gonna be another really popular one. The boys have done this one a couple of years now, I believe. Uh, they enjoy getting out there. They're always building cool stuff, have different projects going on. So that one's really hands-on and a lot of fun. It's also a pretty convenient location right in the middle of Gainesville off of 8th Avenue. It goes from about nine to three and will cost about $245 per week. 
Now the University of Florida does also put on a lot of different camps. If your kids are into sports at all, they've got swimming, volleyball, lacrosse, baseball, a lot of different options. The actual hours per day will range and so will the cost, but you can expect those camps to range you know, from that $300 to $400 per week. Now those are just a few of the camps that we've attended and that have been highly recommended to us. But if you're doing your research, what you're gonna wanna do is go to funforgatorkids.com, check out their summer camps. I'll include a link below, but there you will find so many different options and they've done a really great job compiling all the different information. They've got the prices, the weeks they're open, and you can just go through that website alone and probably schedule out your entire summer if you want. There are some other camps and other options that may not be included on that list, but that's gonna be a really great starting point to figure out all the different things going on in the area. Now, 